Jordan33. And today we are gonna be playing the three marker t-shirt challenge. Ah! So right here we have white t-shirts and we have a bunch of markers. <laughs> we got lots of different markers. We even have puppy paint. And we're gonna basically decorate our t-shirts only using three marker colors though. So we're gonna dump out some Sharpies as well. So we have fabric markers and Sharpies in the mix. Lots of different colors, this is gonna be crazy. I'm so excited. All right, are you ready to go, sister? I'm so ready. I hope I get your colors. All right, I'm gonna mix it around. So close your eyes. All right, pick out a color. Okay, one. number one. This one. This one. You got good colors. Oh, whoa. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Oh, yeah, true. Halloween. Green, black, and orange. You can make a Halloween shirt. Yeah, this is going to be a Halloween shirt. Okay. Mix I got all up. the same brand, too. Yeah, mix them all up. I'm... All right. They're mixed. Ready? This one. Red, okay. yellow, and gray. Okay. Interesting. Actually, color. I'm so excited. Actually, this looks like ketchup and mustard, but I'm excited. I have a game plan. I'm ready to go. All right, so I think we should just begin drawing whatever we want, but then mm -hmm. throughout the video, we shall add in twists. So, do you want to hear my first twist? Oh, no. Is that you have to incorporate into your shirt? Okay, my first twist is that you have to incorporate your greatest fear into your shirt. So like, would that, what, what would be my greatest fear? I don't know, what are you afraid of? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. What's my top fear? I have a few. Okay, so we have two different sides to this marker. Comes with like a fine tip and like a large tip, which is really nice, because then we can be really detailed. So I'm gonna take this other separate cardboard and practice writing what I want my shirt to say. Cause I have a word and I'm gonna fill it in with all these different pictures. Mm. And that's my game plan. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna practice writing the word. I'm gonna start by drawing a pumpkin. I think I'm gonna make mine Halloween themed. Yeah, you have all the right Halloween colors. I've got, yeah, I've got good colors for this. Wild. Wild, that's what my shirt is gonna say. Oh no, I'm worried I'm gonna mess up. It wasn't that bad on this. Oh no. Here's my weird pumpkin. I'm trying to use shading techniques. Ooh, fancy. Do you guys own a Halloween shirt? You should tell us in the comments. I think I do. do I know you? I had one year a Halloween shirt from Justice. <gasps> yes! But I don't think I have it anymore. I think I might have given it to you. Oh, I probably still have it then. I don't remember what it said. I just remember it being green and black. And then it said something on it. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Alright, there's my pumpkin. Ta-da! Hey, yours is really cute. Now I'm gonna draw a happy Halloween. <gasps> happy Halloween? But wait, you have to include your greatest I'm fear. I'm not done. Okay, <sighs> okay. I mapped out wild as you can see here. Ta-da! <laughs> and so now it's time to color in and one of my things I need to add in is my greatest fear. So I'm gonna go in with red and I'm gonna draw. Oh, I was gonna say my greatest fear was somebody like breaking and entering, but I just remembered I am terrified of needles, so I'm gonna draw <laughs> a needle instead. Oh, yay. Because I really don't like that. My greatest fear is actually failure, but how am I gonna draw an F, failure? An F! Draw an F. Be like, hey. yeah, but my colors don't work for that. So I'm gonna draw a wasp, a green and orange a wasp. wasp. <laughs> hey, you can draw a wasp. I mean, you are really scared of wasps too. The only thing I could think of for failure is like a test that has an F on it. Yeah, that's what I would put. Okay, I think we need to add in another twist. What's your dun dun dun? What's your twist? The twist is you have to include an eyeball somebody somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's easy for mine. That's Halloween, bro. Oh, 
Oh, that's true. Well, I have fun trying to include an eyeball. Actually, well, yours is not hard. You got a lot of random stuff in yours. That's true, I do. Um. Oh, there's my little waspy wasp right there. Aww. I'm gonna draw some lines so going. Cute. Let's you, see. Are you ready for a new twist? A new twist? New twist. Oh no, sure. Draw your dream location. Dream location? Yeah. What is that? Can't tell. Uh, Hawaii? Yeah. This is your dream location? Um, not necessarily. <laughs> I don't know how to draw anything else. Um, well, Hawaii is really nice, actually. I, I would say anywhere tropical is like a dream location because tropical is amazing. <laughs> I like to get away from the cold. <laughs> I'm not really a big cold person. What's your dream location? Ferris. Ooh, so yes. I'll draw Paris. This is a weird shirt. <laughs> I re already have a weird little wasp in the corner. You know, just chilling. Okay, um, wait, what was the other thing? I had to draw an eyeball. Yes. <laughs> okay. Have fun. Ta-da! There's my Illuminati eyeballs. Yes! Okay, and then Paris. Eiffel Tower. I gotta start trying to draw the Eiffel Tower. Here's what mine looks like so far. It's like crazy small. But I like it. <laughs> okay, you guys. I tried drawing the Eiffel Tower. It does not look super good, but we did our best here. <laughs> Okay, what's our next twist, Jordan? Oh, you gotta come up with that. I came up with the eyeball. So I came up with the Eiffel Tower. No? Oh yeah, you did. Um, the next item we had to draw is our favorite ocean creature. Oh. Starfish. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's yeah, pretty easy. I'm gonna, what, but is that your favorite? No. Then you can't draw it, you have to, it well is. you can draw it, but you have to, no. You have to draw your favorite. So you can draw a starfish, but you also have to draw your favorite. I don't Fine. know. I gotta get my stingray out. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my favorite's probably a dolphin, so I'll draw a dolphin, but I don't know how. Ah! <laughs> uh... All right, guys, so we decorated our shirts a little bit more, and now we're gonna go on to our last twist, which is are you ready, Jordy? Oh no, I'm not ready. Incorporate. The YouTube play button. Oh yes. Sure. I've got red, so this is actually perfect. You got the perfect kind. Yes. Okay, where am I gonna put mine? I'll put this mine perfect for mine. down here. I got orange and black, so it'll be just like a Halloween YouTube play button. Yes. Yes. My play button just flying in the corner over here. Flying in the corner. <laughs> yes, yours has so much stuff going on, it's so fun. It's a Halloween bonanza. All right, and then after this, we're gonna put on our shirts and show, show them off you. to you guys. Yes. You better hurry and fill in the rest of your wild, girl. You I know, I'm running out of time. I gotta hurry. My gosh, my play button's a little creepy. Oh, you're just like the spooky like YouTube. I know. Gone wrong. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right, you guys, we'll come back when Dren finishes up her shirt, which I don't know how yours is taking so long because you just have to draw a bunch of tiny stuff. I had to draw lots of big things. That's true, I don't know. And we'll do a little fashion show for you. Ooh. We're back! Yay. All right, so these are what our shirts look like. Fashion show, dun, 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 d
So this is what my shirt looks like on. Ta-da! Happy Halloween. <laughs> and here's my shirt. All right, you guys, comment down below whose shirt you like better, but you know what time it is? Mail time! So this first package comes from Holly in Australia, and she's been a subscriber for two years. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you. She says some of her favorite videos are the Slime Baby Adventures <gasps> and yes. the Christmas Candy Cane Slime, and she has a question for us. Squishies okay. or slime? <gasps> slime. <laughs> That's a hard one though. But she also so made us a loom band and a YouTube play button and oh. a heart. Thank you so much, Holly. Thank you. So this next package is from Alvia and Amelia in Kansas. And they sent a lovely letter as well as some pictures that they made. Here's mom and dad and Logan. Here's Logan. That's so cute. And then, here's us! That is so awesome. Thank you so much, Olivia and Amelia! All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn from red to gray, and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.